And we're back, folks, to another episode of Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. I'm Tysa. And hello, everyone. I'm Kirby Volts. We're back. We're in the room with the creepy flower and the flying bee that's flying around right now because Future Look is very insistent that we come in this room and examine the flower. So here we are. I hope you're ready for this. You need to talk to this flower. There's a bee over there. Or maybe this is all voice, so then we don't have to do anything. Now, Luke, I'm sure he won't hurt us, as long as we don't bother him. If you say so. <laughs> you know, I've never seen a bee quite like this. Can you try talking to him, Luke? I suppose I can give it a shot. Well, look at Mr. Tall out here. Clearly he knows a bee of distinction when he sees one. Wow, you're not like any bee I've ever met. Isn't that what I just said? Well, it's true. I'm no run of the hive bee, but I do try to blend in. You'd probably have better luck blending in if you didn't talk. Sure, whatever you say, smart guy. But listen, I've got something you should hear. You know those puzzles you don't get around to solving? Well, they all come hang out with me. You see, I have what you might call one of them magnetic personalities. Wait, are you saying you've got the same job as Granny Riddleton? Granny who? I don't know no grannies. But my name is Beasley. I'm going to tell you how to peruse those puzzles now. So listen good. Um, I'm all ears. Tap that flower over there to see a list of all the puzzles I've got. It's as simple as that. So anytime you get a craving to solve some of the puzzles you left behind, come here. Did that all make sense? Because people tell me I do tend to drone on. I <laughs> get it? Drone? <laughs> this bee. So like, are like, are the sunflower or whatever the seeds in the flower actually puzzles? Little, when little... did this game come out? What year? Uh, gee, how am I know anymore? Um, Unwound Future is like, I want to say 19 something, but I feel like it's probably in the 2000. Well, the DS didn't come out until 2004, so yes, it could oh, have been okay. in the 1990s. Oh, uh, okay. 2008. Oh my god. Why? Is it really? I, I, uh, uh, continue with the cutscene for a moment. Okay. It makes perfect sense. All right, then. You have fun with those puzzles, and I'll be here if you need me. Okay, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was it was indeed 2008. Uh, uh, is there a reason for it? Because I'm, I'm blanking. Oh, it, it didn't come out until 2010 in the U.S. Uh, the reason for that is that that's also the same year that B-Movie came out. <laughs> Ten or oh, eight? Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm uh, not saying Japan watched the B-movie and said, Dang, we need to put a B in our game. <laughs> but... <laughs> Japan, it's a fan of the B-movie. Got it. <laughs> I don't think we have missing puzzles to worry about, so let's -a move on. This guy has a puzzle, though. We'll show you guys. Can't you see you starting in the middle of the construction site? It's good to see that construction appears to be moving along. Of all you allow the case, see, with all time. Look at all these boards here. Those are an odd shape. What are you using them for? Not right now. I've got cases of these things, but I can't work with them. I need square boards, see? What's a guy to do? Making the cut. Alright, let's cut stuff up. The piece of wood below- I'm sure we can't move these things either. The piece of wood below is an odd shape that's difficult to work with. Your task is to cut it into two pieces that, when combined, form a square. Because of the grain of wood, however, the two pieces can't be flipped or rotated after being cut. Draw lines that show where to make this cut, then tap Submit. Uh. 
because of the grain of the wood, no allow you can't flip it. That's stupid. Uh huh. Oh, I think I I think I see what it is. Uh, can I move it? Yeah, because then if you move okay, I was about to say it. Yeah, because then was... you move it up and then it goes into the missing spot. Uh, uh, makes yeah, I wasn't square. sure if like you could cut that way or if you had to do it in a straight line. If you had to do it in a straight line, I was like, huh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Oh, so jolly, Leighton. That wasn't too hard. Hey, look at that! One got all of those square balls now. Thanks for the idea, friends. And in He's we got go. one square board that he cut together that he had to paste together. <laughs> That's a flimsy board. There's the shop! The door was locked earlier and no one would answer it when we knocked. That's because you didn't know the secret knock. Watch this. Uh, come on in! Go on, try the door now. Oh, okay. How do you know the secret knock? Why didn't you tell us this? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Someone answered the door. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, look who's back. Ah! What are you doing hiding there? I see you've learned the secret knock, dearie. Actually, it was I who did the knocking, Spring. This cog is cog around. There you are, Luke. Cock's in the back room. Oh, are you friends with the owners of the clock shop, Luke? I suppose I neglected to mention that earlier. That's kind of important, but okay. I forgot to tell you this thing. It's no big deal. <laughs> this is how we got back into the past, or to the future, rather. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> yes, Spring and Cog have been helping me. Cog actually explains the situation better than I do, so you should ask him about it. All right. Let's hear what he has to say. And he's in the back, but first of all... Poink! 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 And up we go. Future Luke have a puzzle? Nope, not as I can see yet. Okay. Da -da. I love the music for the clock shop, though. The clock it's shop music nice. is really good. I thought I heard voices up front. Nice to see you again, Professor in Luke! The Professor's Apprentice! Yes, yes, Luke, of course. Cog, would you mind talking a bit about the wormhole and how it all started? I think it would help get everyone on the same page. Be my pleasure. You there, Luke. I mean, a smaller Luke, that is. Yes? Tell me, boy, what does this contraption behind me look like to you? A big old clock. All right, you are, but my estimates, this clock is well over a hundred years old. The old girl needs a lot of TLC to keep chugging along, so I spend quite a bit of time on maintenance. I was right in the middle of oiling up her gears one day when two family goons busted in. Ooh. Uh, there's two Ooh. guys. You can you want you you want him or you want me? You you you, you can be locked, Joe. I'll I'll be the other guy. All right. Here we go! This has got to be the place the boss was talking about! For sure! Hey boss! He has a big clock here, just like he said! It's a real antique! Come over and see! Just what do you two think you're doing barging into my shop? And get your hands off my clock! Can it, Gramps! You don't get to tell us what to do! Don't you know who you're dealing with? Yeah, a bunch of blockheads who just want to leave my shop. 
If I were you, I'd keep a civil tongue on my head, old man. Now, out of the way, we've got a schedule to keep. Uh, were you Boistro? Or did we not establish? I don't establish? remember. You can be Boistro. What are you guys punching around for? Get to work! If we don't hurry, things won't be ready in time for you know who talked about. Sorry, Boistro. We're trying our best, but Grabs here is making things difficult. Don't be alone, kid. If you know how to deal with the difficult, throw him on a street. Let me go, you dirtbags! We're just gonna go for the walk, Gramps. That's okay with you, isn't it? You keep your filthy hands off my clock, you hear me? Nope. We're just about on schedule. But we have to wait until this turn turns into the thing is the exact time the big guy mentioned. <laughs> And just like that, it's a time machine. All right. That's all I heard before those brutes tossed me out of my own shop. It wasn't until later I found out the thugs wanted from my little clock shop. See, the family funded the construction of a time machine by some scientists. I think the idea was to use it to create some kind of wormhole or warp point. But how did they manage to do that? Beats me. It was all mumbo-jumbo. Something about opening up a vortex in the flow of time. Anyway, for whatever reason, the plan didn't go exactly as anticipated. I see. And somehow this hole in time manifested itself in or near this clock shop of yours. That'd be the case, yes. The clock here has been ticking away over over 100 years. My guess is that something about the clock's age caused the warp point to gravitate to the spot. Yep, the wormhole, or whatever it's called, was pulled here and became a part of my clock. Uh, sure, that makes total sense. The thing is, I'm only... I am the only one who can keep that old gal running. Which means, like it or not, Spring and I are the only people who can open and close this warm hall. That's really strange. Tell me. Yeah. It's a burden. It is what it is. Once the family found out about what I could do, they forced me to walk through the clock for them. After a while, I caught wind of Cog's situation. I'm sure it goes without saying, but Cog isn't a part of the family. In fact, the family's been nothing but a source of trouble for poor Cogs. It sure sounds that way. Knowing that, I approached Cog and Spring and explained my idea to them. After getting them on board with my idea, Cog fired up the machine and helped get my message to you. And upon receiving your letter, my curiosity took myself and look on a journey that led us here. That's quite the plan you drummed up, Big Luke. Thank you. But it's about to get even more interesting. Oh? Professor, with Cog's help, we can send you and little Luke back to your own time. You'll be able to ask Inspector Chelmy all the questions you want. But when you're done chatting, you will come back to put a stop to what's going on here, won't you? Luke, you of all people should know the answer to that question. I keep my promises, and I intend to solve the problem here. It's what a gentleman would do. Thank you, Professor. That was exactly the answer I was hoping for. He says with snide eyes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't dream of leaving things here in this state. You said it yourself, Big Luke. The only one who can stop Herschel Layton is Herschel Layton himself. <laughs> Quite right. My apologies. I should never have doubted you. Well then. I think there's more. Oh, looks like we're leaving the. Okay, I think we have. Some... Wait, what are we doing? Are we gonna. We Do we interact with the clock? Oh no, we talked to Cogs again. 
Let me see. Yeah, seems you've solved at least thirty puzzles. Oh boy, it's like a, it's like you it's like you filled up your Pokédex all over again, except <laughs> with puzzles. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Yep, you've done enough research to take your investigation back to your own time. Hopefully, you'll learn something there that will help us fix the terrible situation in our time. Yes, I hope so too. Now, Korg, if you'd be so kind as to fire up the clock. I hope you'll understand if I stay here. I don't want to risk distorting the events of the past any more than necessary. I agree completely. Besides, the poor inspector's eyes might very well pop out of his head if I showed up with two dukes. <laughs> but just think about how fun it would be to see his reaction. Pity you can't come, Big Luke. Okay, she's all ready to go. Let's get the show on the road. I like, I just, for just a split second, you could see where it went from an illustration to an actual animated scene. Yep. Here we are. Oh, I feel sick. Are you going to be all right, Luke? You're positively green. I feel sort of seasick. My ears are all stuffy and the ground feels like it's made of marshmallow. Yep, I feel time sickness talking. The first jump I made, I felt the same way. Well, Cog, we're going to head off now and see what we can find out. Sounds good. I'll be here waiting for you. Just use that special knock and I'll let you in. Excellent. I was wondering how we'd contact you if we went back to our own time while we were out. Yep, that'd be a pain, all right. Now, you two should skedaddle. I'd like to get home in time for dinner. All right, then. And you can see the color has changed now that we're back in our present time. It's more Hooray. blue. Also, you might... Yeah, now you can hear the difference in the music, too. There's yeah, a, okay. There's a yeah. piano in this version. Yep. Yeah. There's no doubt about it, Professor. We're back in our time. The surroundings here certainly do seem familiar. Whew! You know, all this time travel has really worn me out. Yes, I could do it for us myself, but we mustn't keep Korg waiting. You're right! So, shall we go find Inspector Chelmy? That'll be our second stop. First, I'd like to run by my office at the university. So we are taking a break. Not quite. I need to do a little prep work for our session with Inspector Chelmy. Preparation, my boy, is the very foundation upon which every good investigation is built. Right you are, Professor! Now that we're back in our own time, we can reach the University by bus in a matter of minutes. Let's go, Luke. Alright, we have buses again. It's this guy. <laughs> How are you doing, young fella? Wait, is this the guy who tells us about hit coins and puzzles? Yes. Oh. I recognize his design because he's in Catriel. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait, is this the guy again, but now in present day? Oh, hello there. Nice to see you again. Again? Plus, again, business. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you some advice, is all. Alright, shoot! Not many folks know this, but when you solve puzzles, you can earn these. Oh, if you're going to talk about Picarets, we already know all about them. Them. Oh, <laughs> is that so? Well, big deal. It's all a great secret anyhow. Okay, well, thank you. We should really go now. We've got a lot to do. Uh, oh, oh, wait, don't just run off like that. I am, uh, um... A puzzle! Yes, that's right! I have a puzzle for you! This man sounds lonely. <laughs> <laughs> find the clock tower. To find the clock tower in the village below, just follow these directions. Go straight and take the first left, take the next right, and then the next left, and it will be right in front of you. In which spot, A through H, is the clock tower located? 
Okay, but where do we start is the question. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm like, where are we starting? This is just the bust puzzle again. Except now for clock. Um, See, I was hoping there would be a clock tower drawn on the screen. And I'd just go, there it is! Take the next right? None? Uh, okay, hold on. Go straight. No, I can't. wait, 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 hold on. No, you're. It, so it you goes straight, fine. go left, take the next right. Yeah, right would be to D from that perspective. And it'll be right in front of you. Uh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. The spot is H, somehow. So it's <laughs> what? Uh, okay, well, apparently this we are starting at A, and that's how we oh. get down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what we knew where we started from, hmm. but okay. How about that? And maybe the puzzle said we started at A. I knew it. But I think it's we were like A I, through A. Yeah, I'm wondering if we did, they didn't because we were supposed to figure out where to start, but it ended up being A anyway, so I'm just kind of yep. like, hmm. How is that for a fun puzzle? It's in your top ten, yeah? No, it's not. It's okay, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Luke, is, Luke is unimpressed. <laughs> What? what, what? Just okay. <laughs> okay, I guess you're playing it cool. You don't want to let on that my puzzle rocked your socks off. You might be thinking too hard about this. But thanks for the tea sticker. Uh, there's nothing here to examine. There's this guy over here. He's got a puzzle. Oh, do you want me to read him? Hello? Uh oh. Hello? Did I lose Sorry. you? Sorry, every for a moment, yes, because everything paused. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're okay. Discord is yeah. silly. Yeah. It's okay. We've actually been doing really good doing this method, you so know, yeah. <laughs> like one little hiccup is fine. But anyway, I, I believe it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Lord Small Fry. What can I do for you? I notice there's a bus stop up ahead. London still has bus service, doesn't it? Of course. We've got more buses than you can shake a stick at. What an odd question to ask. Look, you don't understand. Excellent! Did you hear that, Professor? London's buses still run! I heard, Luke. Your exuberance is appreciated. But we don't want to unsettle our friend here. <laughs> Buses! <laughs> Jeez, I've never seen someone get so jazzed about riding the bus. Well, if you like the buses, you're going to love this little number. How many people? 30. It says 30 on the bottom. That's how many people. If you're, I was riding a double-decker bus, and the tour guide on the upper level told me that, including myself, there were 25 tourists in the lower level, and 40% as many tourists in the upper level. How many people total were in the bus? It's math. Yep. It's unfortunate math, because 40% does not go well into 25. No. So I'm just gonna put an answer in. <laughs> Half a person. <laughs> I'm For glad that thing registered That seven I made looks awful I'm just like dang I'm glad that registers a seven It turns out the tour, the tour guy was actually attached to the bus Like he's just permanently part of the bus So he's only half there He's actually a bus man Let's go You know, I'm a bus aficionado myself. My favorites are the double deckers around town. I can see that with your puzzle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk to this woman. 
Yes, it's a woman. Well, hello, Gan Bright Eyes. I trust you found yourself some nice shiny hit coins and didn't break more cars? Yes, and your expert direction played no small role. Lovely! I'm glad I could be of help. But where's my thank you? Out with it already! Of course. Please excuse me for not issuing proper thanks. We appreciate your assistance. Yes, thank you! We never would have found him without the help of a wise old lady like yourself. Now just a moment there, half pint. Who are you calling old? They don't call me Flawless Florence for nothing, you know. I am as fit and nimbly as any teenager. My god, she's like a British old bag. <laughs> I apologize, Miss Florence. I didn't mean to call you old. I know how sensitive some seniors can get about their age. S senior? Old? You just don't get it, do you? Looks like I'm going to have to teach you a lesson the old-fashioned way, with the puzzle! Oh yes, the puzzle. Very scary. Look, I do believe we found someone else who time-traveled. I believe that may be our dear Flora. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Flora. She came into the past just to yell at us, or go, go, just to yell at us for not taking her anywhere. A heartfelt heart. In my younger days, I was considered quite the catch. This is a picture of me back then, along with three of my handsome suitors. A few moments after this photo was taken, one of these gents confessed his love by presenting me with a heart. Can you guess which one? Uh, with a heart? Am I looking for a shape or something? <laughs> Pick between these three. Who is it? Are you going to give us context clues? No. Oh, okay. It's A. <laughs> I'm just like, it's one of those puzzles where it's like, oh, what does level five actually want us to answer with? Because he can fold his paper into a heart. Or his book. Or whatever. You could arrange that fl those flowers into a heart, too. Mm, not a good puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> You two are smart cookies when it comes to puzzle solving, I'll give you that. A compliment means all the more coming from a lady such as yourself, Florence. I do hope we run into each other again sometime. Teehee, now you're making me blush. You can sweet talk me if you like, but you, you should know I'm a married woman. It seems our friend here was taking a has taken a shine to you, Professor. Run! <laughs> I thought that was a mouth at first. I thought the uh, woman, it looks like a witch. It is the witch. I think it is the witch, but the way the, the whites are, it just looks like a mouth and, you sh and they're going raw. <laughs> okay. Bus. Bus, 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 bus. Let's make our way back to my office. Now, which bus goes to Green's Hella? Crescent Hello University. Bus, 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 bus! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the bus! Now the one that goes to Scotland Yard, that's the one. <laughs> I can tell it didn't even let you select it, so... <laughs> I have to admit that I've gotten a bit turned around with all this time traveling. What are we investigating now? Oh, ho, ho. feeling a bit discombobulated, my boy. I can hardly blame you. It's also not every day that I travel to the future and meet my adult self. I got to with a bit of a review on our case as it currently stands. Very well. Let's see if we can bring you up to speed. Alright. You remember why Big Luke called us to the future? To stop the evil Professor Layton, right? And what exactly are we stopping my future self from doing? Um... Oh, right! We want to stop you, uh, him from completing his time machine research. Precisely. Which is exactly why you and I were headed to Chinatown. Oh, yes! Now it's all coming back to me. But then we failed to get into Chinatown. It was at that point you started talking about asking the inspector some questions. I, 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 we didn't necessarily fail getting to Chinatown, we just kind of went... 
Oh, I guess there's guys here. Future Luke. Hey, let's go back to the past. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They, like, didn't even try. And I, knowing Layton, he would try if, like, Future Luke didn't come in. Or, like, he didn't think about talking with the inspector, I guess. Yep. Anyway. Yes, but at that time, I had no idea we'd be able to jump back into our own time to question him. In that sense, it seems we got pretty lucky, huh? Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps? It sounds like something isn't sitting right with you. Is something bothering you? All of this! Indeed, and it's something that we've come to investigate. Ah, we've just about reached our stop. We'll run by my office, and then it's off to see the inspector. Yay! No! Oh my god, we finished the chapter! Wow, we finished two chapters! <laughs> well, a chapter and, like, a tiny bit of the other one. Yeah. Chapter 5, The for Forgotten Case. <laughs> Ugh, talk. I need to stop by my office and check something. After that, we'll, uh, we'll go to find Inspector Chilney. Okay, well, before that, end coins. One, two... Three. I found the bell tower. It's right there. <laughs> there you are, Professor. I see you can't select you again this week. Let me guess. Are you investigating another strange mystery? Hello, Rosetta. Yes, something rather pressing has come up. But I'll show to hold the makeup session later. Oh, no worries, Mr. L. As long as I get my credits, I'm not sweating it. Huh. Okay. Professor Lane, like Indiana Jones, is like, I teach, I teach school. When? Exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, what kind of attitude is that to have, Rosetta? If you want those credits, you'll have to earn them. And as your paper is on stone relics of Cornwall, I'd say you have your work cut out for you. As your advisor, I insist that you check in with me weekly until your paper's shaped up. Hmm, <laughs> I didn't mean to imply I wasn't interested in the work. And I'm very much looking forward to our sessions together. Not every girl has the privilege of receiving private instructions from the great Professor Layton. Private instructions, okay. Layton, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I mean to say is that you should check in during office hours. Layton, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to tell me twice, Professor. I'll see you next week. Ta-ta! I don't know. I don't know what that girl's up to, but it ain't- it can't be good, Professor. N nonsense, my boy. I'm sure it's all in your head. Gee, you know, the thing with Leighton having a bunch of kids and they all don't seem to be related is suddenly, um... Yeah, well, let's, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me. Did you see the look she gave you? She's a- Man-eater! Whatever that means. That's a it song. Means you, it, it means if you summon the man-eater in attack mode, it destroys one of your opponent's monsters. <laughs> I activate my trap card to cancel it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Late? <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> hey, are you the god we bumped into at the demonstration? Why are you here? As you may recall, well, I think someone's trained an experience a few Jacob. Oh wait, I think this is me. Oh. Because if this is the same guy that gave us the puzzle at the very beginning, I think they mentioned that he was the same guy. So I'll just take it. It's okay, I just realized, I'm like, wait a minute, I think I had this guy. Okay. <laughs> when the dust settled, management decided it would be best to cut me loose. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, excuse me, I don't believe I introduced myself properly yet. I'm... Please, sir, don't bother. Dean Delmona filled me in. It's, our on it's an honor to meet you, Professor Layton. I've actually been holding on to a puzzle just in case you happen to come by. Care to hear it? The how nice of you. The Shady Trio. Each member of the Shady Trio was dressed in red, white, and green. However, none of their outfits were the same. Here's what witnesses had to say about them. The men wore the same colored jackets. 
Two of them had white pants on. The larger man wore a white hat. The woman's jacket was green. Tap the trio's clothes and change the colors to match the eyewitness's report. Okay, what? Two of them had white pants. Wore the same color jackets. The larger man wore a white hat and the woman's jacket is green? Whoops. We know her. We know her. Yeah, that's, that's green. Okay. Um, the large man had a white hat. So that's already there. Two of them had white pants on. Okay, so I, this is a minor minutia, but do they consider white a color? Because white technically is a shade. So that would mean the men would have to be wearing red jackets. Say that? Are you saying the men are wearing red jackets? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, can I please hit the thing? <laughs> uh, I will say right now, yes, they are red. Okay. Big guy's wearing the white hat. Two of them are wearing white pants, meaning one... But they're all not matching the same, so... This one has to be green, because he's got white and red already, I think. Okay, yep, okay. So then... So now the it's short these two. guy has to be green hat, and she has to be red hat. Yeah, that should be it. Let me check. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. That should do the trick. Boom. Well, that's settled. Hey! <laughs> we did it. For a shady tree, their colors might be too inconspicuous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Simply beautiful work, sir. Thank you so much for indulging me. Not at all. I quite enjoyed myself. All right. Um. All right. We're gonna go into the university next, but I think we'll just hold up for the next video since we are very over now. That's okay. a good. So that's a good stopping point. So I think we need to. I Leighton didn't say what he needs in there, but he, we gotta go to his office in the next video. So. Until I don't next like time. the girl keep winking at us. Uh, well, we're we're stuck with her winking at us for this video, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Okay. We're wrapping it up for now, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.